All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out here toiling in his truth. I'm Bathaka Moth, GMS Dallas. And I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit lesson. Uh, just going into uh, this video that I saw a few days ago uh, from the, uh, uh, the, uh, this, this cat here, uh, uh, Dabu77. Uh, and he was reporting on the uh, mega drought, as you can see in the title, mega drought is spreading across U.S., threatens to cause devastating crop fails in 2021, which if you open it up, you can continue to read the title there. And it was uh, April the 22nd. Uh, so it's just a, you know, I can't remember if it was Friday uh, when this came. I think I saw this Friday. So, uh, which was a couple of days ago. But, uh, uh, hey, man, all these things are prophecy, uh, uh, you know, and this thing is all about prophecy, uh, Revelation 19 and 10, you know, Yahweh Shah, the spirit of prophecy, Sirach 39 and 1, you know, we should be occupied in prophecy, you know, and we're in a time of prophecy, man, you know what I'm saying, and like it says in Habakkuk, the second chapter, you know, uh, 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 you know, we're in a times of these things speaking, man, you know, and they're not going to tarry, man, these things are happening, you know, and we're in a time, so, so, as, as the title stated, Mega drought is spreading across U.S., threatens to cause devastating crop failures in 2021, which is going to lead to famines, which is written in the scriptures, man. You know, but I'm going to read a little bit of this, well, this, this little uh, piece right here. Uh, uh, it, it's kind of explaining, you know, what's what's going on, details in, in, in the video, which I'll play the video. And uh, then we're going to get into some uh, scriptures because uh, famine is coming, man, you know, which is part of those uh, 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 terrible times, those sorrows that we're coming into. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got a lot of Jakes out here that's playing games, man. Even these camps that 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 know that they're Israelites, man, telling the telling their uh, 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 the followers, uh, the flock, that there's not going to be any uh, uh, tribulation. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know, Jacob's trouble is is spoken of in the scriptures, man. You know, sorrows is spoken of in the scriptures, man. You know, it's all part of the prophecies, man. So these things are happening. Bad times are coming, man. Evil times are coming, man. The burden of Babylon, you know evil times, man, you know, the scriptures speak about these things, man, you know, so, uh, without any further ado, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read a little bit, bit of this, and then I'm gonna get into some scriptures, uh, this is, a. Uh, it says, uh, throughout U.S. history, there have been all, Salakia, throughout, uh, U.S. history, there have always been droughts in the western half of the country from time to time, but what are we dealing with now is truly alarming, but what we are dealing with now is, is truly alarming. Scientists tell us that a multi-year mega drought has developed in the southwestern portion of the country, and this is the worst year of that mega drought. So so far, so far, by a wide margin. If conditions do not radically improve soon, we are going to have a major agricultural disaster on our hands. Some farmers have already decided to not plant crops at all this year, but many others have decided to plant anyway, knowing that if enough rain doesn't come, their crops will, will certainly fail. So, you know, and all these things, you know, are written. Famine is written in the scripture. So at the end of the day, it's the most high, man. It's prophecies being played out. So this is not a, you know, this is not an accident, you know, and us in a no, we're not, this, this doesn't shock and surprise us, man. That's why the scripture say in Isaiah 33 and 6, and knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation, man. You know what I'm saying? The the actual knowledge, the truth of the Bible is going to keep you stable because you're going to know these things have to happen, man. These things must needs be, as, as Yahweh Shai said, man. You know, they have to happen, man. They're written. They're prophecies. They have to be fulfilled, man. The Lord says, uh, uh, Yahweh uh, says in uh, Isaiah uh, 55 and 11 that his word does not come back to him void, but it shall accomplish the thing whereto he sends it, you know, and it's going to accomplish his pleasure, man. You know what I'm saying? So this thing is all about the pleasure and will of the most high, man. It's, and these things are already written. You know, they're just playing out now. So uh, I'm going to play a little bit of this video real quick. And then, uh, you know, we'll get into some scriptures because bad times are coming. Famines are coming. This is Dabu 7. Taking a look here at the mega drought that we're facing across this country. It's not just out in the West. Although it is spawning from the region known as the Four Corners. This is an area that I've been to myself. This is out in the desert, very dry. And as you can see, 
this area expanding all the way down into Texas, southern Texas, California, and then, of course, you can see up here in this region, in the Upper Plains, this is a huge area of concern. This is in the North Dakota region, where they are suffering from a massive drought. This is an area, if anybody cares, where they grow a lot of our pasta, a lot of the, well, the wheat for our pasta. Let's put it that way, the wheat for a lot of things. And if this wheat does not get grown, we're all going to feel the effects. And all too often I see people shrug stuff off and say, oh, they don't really care because it's not going to affect them. Well, things like this will down the road. And when it happens, you're either going to go without or be paying a higher price. That's a guarantee. This is just the beginning. They have stated that this is the worst mega drought that we have seen in a very, very, very long time. And that this year is the worst of it. And in fact, the first few months of this year, were the driest that North Dakota has seen in 126 years. So things are getting real. You might want to take a good look at this map and realize where the moisture is and where it is not. And of course, with weather modification these days, they can do a ton to put people into a crippling position. I expand on that further on the live stream. So, so uh, you know, this mega drought uh, that's spreading across the U.S., like he said, is a serious deal. And he and he said something very spiritual. He said this is just the beginning, man. And he's right. And the scriptures go into that and say these things, man. So, uh, hey, without any further ado, man, let's get into it. Because when you go into, uh, as a matter of fact, the first uh, scripture I want to go into is Second Ezra, the eighth chapter and verse 50. This second Ezra is 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride, man. You know, and of course, the ultimate uh, uh, proud people on the earth, you know, is are the Edomites, the true biblical red Hebrew Edomites, which is the so-called self-proclaimed white man, woman and child today. You know what I'm saying? But that that pride has 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 uh, stemmed over into the nation of Israel, man. And you have that pride running, running rampant in the nation of Israel also, man. You know, two-thirds of the nation of Israel is done, man. You know, Zechariah 13 and 8, two parts shall be cut off and die, man. You know what I'm saying? So the majority of the nation of Israel is going to be uh, cut off and die, man. The Most High is going to destroy the uh, majority of his nation, man. And, of course, we know these other heathen nations are following suit behind uh, uh, Edom as well, man. <clears throat> the so-called self-proclaimed white man as well, man. So many great miseries are going to be done, man, and we're in those times, man, you know what I'm saying, you know, we're in the times of many great miseries, man, the Most High is visiting uh, 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 the earth in which he made, pursuant to uh, Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, you know, we're in a time of visitation of the Lord, man, you know what I'm saying, so many great miseries on the way, and and this video uh, uh, is just one one of those, uh, uh, of many, of those uh, of many great miseries, man, you know, because there's a lot of things coming, man. You know, you, of course, we've been having things like earthquakes and, and diverse places and, and different things like that, which I'm about to get Matthew, the 24th chapter, you know, and with the with with uh, uh, and all these things are building up, man, to uh, uh, because we're at the end of this uh, of this guy's uh, uh, kingdom man, his system is set up his society, man. You know, he Esau is going down, you know what I'm saying? And, and you can see all these, all of these things. The prophecies are building up and coming to pass, man. You know what I'm saying? So so with with. Uh, uh, things like this, the mega drought. So don't forget about that, man. Understand these things are happening. The, uh, famine is coming, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and then you have uh, uh, them uh, uh, pushing the chip. You know, they have the chip that they're talking about putting under the skin right now to, to detect COVID in the blood. You know, which is just, hey, man, they're, they're uh, 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 crafty way of, of, of the micro, the, the RFID microchip, man, you know, of course, they're trying to tell you it's not for tracking. Yeah, right. They're they're liars, man. You know what I'm saying? Once they get it in you, if it is, if if it is, in fact, for tracking, what can you do about it? You know what I'm saying? Nothing. It's in you now. You won't be able to take it out. So they can tell you that, which they're liars, man. Psalms 58 and 3 tells you straight up they're liars, man. You know, they come out the womb line, man. So, you know, and 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 also in Sirach, the the twelfth chapter in verse ten, it tells you never never trust thine enemies, never trust thine enemies. 
you know, as rust, iron, uh, iron, uh, iron rusted, so is his wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's guaranteed. This nigga is a guaranteed wicked dude, and he's going to do wickedness, man. So he and he's going to lie to you. He's 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 the devil, man, Satan. You know, Revelation the uh, the twelfth chapter, and, and verse nine, man. You know that deceiveth the whole world, man. These are the people that it's talking about, man. You know, the Edomites, the so-called self-proclaimed white man, woman, and child, man. So, so these things are gonna happen, you know. So, you know, let's keep it going, man. Let me get let me get Matthew 24 now, since I since I missed mentioned that because he said this is just the beginning, man. He says that in the video. So we're gonna start. This is Matthew 24 and verse 6, and it reads, And ye shall hear of, of wars and rumors of wars, which Hey, that's going on right now, man. Rumors of war, World War Three are looming right now, man, which we're in. We're, we've been in war, man. You know, right now they're in proxy war. You know what I'm saying? There's one stage of war left, which is hot war, man. You know, it's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. They're not making the nuclear missiles to put in a museum or on a shelf, man. You know, and you got a lot of groups out here teaching that the, 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 there, the, there are no missiles. You got people teaching there are no missiles. You got people teaching that, you know, there will not be. Uh, 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 nuclear war and, and you got people teaching all manner of of, of, of er doctrine out here you know the Babylon is 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 the the Vatican and all kind of you know just just far out nonsense man you know what I'm saying but these things are happening so the wars and the rumors of wars are happening daily man you know Putin uh, gate uh, sent a a a a, a, a warning a a, a a how did they I'm trying to remember how it a some type of warning uh, uh, to the U.S. I, I can't remember if the word was harsh or or stark warning or some kind of warning, you know, which was a serious warning uh, uh, recently to the to the uh, U.S. and NATO, man. You know, so these things are happening, man. And now you got, you know, the the, the drought is happening. These famines are coming. All these things are going to hit at the simultaneously at the same time, man. You know, and it's going to get very ugly. And Isaiah 13, the burden of Babylon is going to be in full effect, man. Jacob's trouble is going to be in full effect, man. You know, and, and all of those who don't want to listen to the prophets, man, you're in trouble, man. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet because, of course, we have a, a prophecies that still have to uh, uh come to pass and happen man you know and the microchip is one of them but these things are being pushed right now man so they're we're, we're getting closer world war three has to happen the a hey, these things are happening man you know so they're coming and once those things happen then we'll be at the end but as he as it says the end is not yet because those things have not yet happened you know what i'm saying and this is red letters yahweh is speaking verse seven for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom you know and you can already see that nation against nation uh, uh, starting to take full effect, man. You got the the uh, 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 the Black Lives Matter, man. You know, against these uh, uh, these uh, uh, redneck uh, 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 racist uh, 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 red Edomites, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, KKK K and all these different uh, uh, factions of, of of Edomites. You know, which which really they're all Edomites, man. When you look at the Black Lives Matter movement, it's all Esau, man. It's all Edomites, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's all a setup, man. It's a scheme of Esau, man, to get these race wars popping, man. You know what I'm saying? But these things are going to happen, man. And then they're going to look at you, at you, Jake, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negro descent. They're going to look at you, man. And, and they're going to be coming after you. And you're going to be out here dying in the streets because of a movement, uh, uh, you know, set up by these elites that's full of, uh, uh, of uh, Edomites, man. But they're going to come after you, man. You know, so those the nation of against nation, hey, all these things are setting up right before your face, man. So it says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. So boom, that's the world. That's that's your World War Three right there, man. And there shall be famines. There it is. Boom, famines. We just we just watched the video and read about the drought across the U.S., man. And pestilences, which is these diseases. You got COVID in the earth right now. You got a you got a a, a new variant. Uh, uh, coming and of course more and more the most high is gonna is gonna uh, uh, turn this thing up soon man because the scriptures speak of 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 of, of these people dying in great number man you know i believe that's in uh second Ezra, the fifth chapter man you know and earthquakes in diverse places which that happens like every other day man you know <clears throat> verse eight all these are the beginning of sorrows man so with all of this all of these things that's just the beginning of sorrows, which which he mentioned that, man, you know, 
he mentioned uh, uh, this is just the beginning, which they are, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, when you go over to Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, which I'll grab that real quick. Because all these things are part of, uh, of those great miseries we just read, man. So let's go over to uh, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, and I'm going to start at verse 18. And it reads, Second Ezra 16 and 18, the beginning of sorrows. There it is, man. And great mornings, the beginning of famine. Boom. The video we just watched, the drought in Texas. I mean, Salakia across the U.S. And great death. So a lot of people are about to die. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? And this is Edra's man proving that Edra's is back, man. That proves reincarnation. This is Edra saying, what shall I do when these evils come? So that proves that Edra's, Edra's is, was, is, was going to be here in these end times, man. So he's here. One of these brothers that's getting scoffed at or, or talked trash against, you know, out here putting in the work for Yahweh Bashim Shai. It's been, uh, uh, you know, scoffed at and talked about, man. And he's and, and he they're talking to Ezra's, man, you know, and don't know it, that they're scoffing against one of the men of the Lord, man. Ezra's himself is here, man, you know, because the prophets are back, you know. First Corinthians 14 and 32, man. You know, a prophet is subject to a prophet. So they're here, man. You know, John, the revelator, all these people, Job, you know, these people are back, man, you know. So it says, uh, 2 Ezra 16 and 18, the beginning of sorrows. And these are the beginnings, man. When this thing really gets launched and gets popping, when the Lord really starts to, 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 to come after Jake like he's going to come after him, man, it's going to be very ugly, man. That's why uh, uh, Daniel, the 12th chapter says what it says. We're coming into a time unlike any other since there was a nation, man. You know, very ugly, evil times, man. You know, that's why we got hey, to go through that tribulation. Acts uh, 14 and 22. You know, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of the most high, man. You know, and you got groups out here teaching no tribulation. They're off, man. You know, but these are the beginnings, man. The beginning of sorrow and great mornings. These people are going to be in great mornings, man. You know, great morning. You think they're mourning now with, with Jace getting shot down here and there, you know, uh, you know, the little girl, the, the, the little girl that just got shot. Her, I believe her dad was a gang affiliated gang member. You know what I'm saying? The little, the, uh, the, the, the wicked ass, uh, 16 year old, you know, you want to look at like she would, man, she was not innocent. Job four and seven, the innocent don't perish, man. You know, and she had a knife, man, you know? So, so, you know, it's, Hey man, we ain't with niggas and we ain't with the wicked, man. You know, death to the two third, man, you know, and it's coming and, and we're reading about it right now. The beginning, second edge of 16 and 18, the beginning of sorrows. You know, and that these, like I said, these are just uh, the, the, the beginning, a few little here and there. Man, the Lord is going to start going hard, man. You know, the beginning of famine and great death. There it is. Great death, man. The Lord is going to touch this place, man. And, he, and when he's when he, he about to drop the hammer on this place, man, you know, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. And they are in fear, man. The beginning of evils. Uh, uh, what shall I do when these things uh, shall come, man? You know, so again, Ezra's is here, man. Uh, so let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's let, now let me go to Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter, and uh, I'll start at verse five. The Second Ezra, fifteen and five. Behold, said Yahabashim Yahshai, I will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, famine, death, and destruction. You know. So the sword is coming. You're going to have people out here getting uh, and the modern day sword is, is, is the gun, man. You know, Esau's weaponry, man. You know, you're going to have these military people out here. These these uh these troops in the street going hard. You're going to have neighbor going against neighbor, you know, and, and friend against friend and just people going against each other out here, man, with, with, with various weapons, especially the gun, man, you know. Behold, said the Yahabashim Yahushua, will bring plagues upon the earth, uh, upon the world, which is the plague of the Lord, man. You know, the sword, famine, you know, the mega droughts, that's leading into the famine, man. We just looked at the video. Death and destruction. And you, if you noticed, it always says death, man, you know, in, in these scriptures, man. The Lord speaks of a lot of death, man, you know, up to the blood, up to the horse's bridle, as the scriptures speak. You know, Isaiah 66 and 15 says this uh, in 16 says the slain of the Lord shall be many, you know, 
Matthew 10 and 34, the, the, the Messiah himself said he's not coming to bring peace, but a sword, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of death about to happen in the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? For, for the wicked, man. You know? I'm going to drop down to verse 49. This is verse 49 in the same chapter. I will send plagues upon thee. Widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death, man. If you're not getting the picture, man, the Lord is not playing games, man. He's not playing games with... Whew, man, these people are about to, fin uh, about to fill this, man. You know what I'm saying? They're about to fill it, man. I will send plagues upon thee. I will send plagues upon thee. Widowhood. <laughs> you know what a widow is, man? You know, your husband's going to get begin put to death, man. Poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, man. Which, hey, Matthew said the same things, man. You know, you're going to have a nation against nation uh, of pestilences and, and earthquakes, famines. It's, it's all saying the same thing. Death is coming, man. Bad times are coming, man. You know? That just is what it is, man. You know, it is what it is. As a matter of fact, let me go back to, because I want to get that other verse, Salaki. I want to, let me go back to 2nd Ezra, uh, uh, the 16th chapter real quick. And I want to read verse 19 as well. Salaki. 2nd uh, Ezra uh, 16 and 19. Behold, famine and plague. Tribulation, because it reiterated that famine. That's why I, I was intending to bring that out, Salaki. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation. Again, there's that tribulation that, that, that certain groups out here saying there's not going to be. <laughs> you know, false prophets, man. You know, that's why we're in the times. Everybody's going to know who the true men of the Lord are, man. You know, 2nd Ezra 16, if I drop down to uh, verse 73, which I'll get it. You, the, 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 you're going to know, man. Uh, uh, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, man. You know. And that's another thing, the, the reason I wanted to bring that out, man, because that, that, that scourges, man, for amendment, man, to make them atonements, to get the situation right. Scourges, man, when you go into the definition, it is, is a whip uh, uh, used as an instrument of punishment. Or it's a person or thing that causes great trouble or suffering, man. <laughs> man, the Lord is about to go hard, man. And he's going to do that for amendment, man, you know. This is what you're going to get to make it right. I got to I got to give you this to to atone to make it right, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is how you're going to have to pay uh, uh, second edges nine and twelve death by pain, man. And of course, we know the atonement for the elect and one third is the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. They're going to be covered. But the two third is not, man. They gonna get this right here, man. These scourges, man, for amendment. You know, that's what the two third is going to get, man. You know, because they're not going to heed to the words of the prophets, man, the men of the Lord. And, and it's going to come to get them, man. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, let me let me drop down to uh, verse 21 while I'm here still. Uh, it reads, behold, verse 21, behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth. And, and those things are happening now, man. You know, at times uh, uh, gas prices drop uh, uh, to a very low uh, uh, cheap prices. You know, things in the stores, man. You know, my family, they, they hey, man, they love the, the, the bargains. And, and, you know, and I hear them at times just, just you know, about the things. And, and this was this cheap. And, and you know what I'm saying? And they just feeling good about it, man. But it says, behold, victual shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. So they thinking everything is good, all good, you know, all fine and dandy. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine again, and great confusion, man. These people ain't going to know what's going on when, when, when all this, these, these things start to happen, man. They're, they're not going to understand it, man, because they, uh, well, we thought it was good, you know. Prices had, things start going down again. They thinking that's meaning something getting better, man. When actually in all reality, it's getting worse, man, you know. So, hey, it is what it is, though. Hey, it's the work of the Lord, man. So I'm going to drop down real quick to verse 73 because I'll make this point real quick. Is it right here? Yeah, con, con. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire, man. And, and, and those men are being tried right now as we speak. But the, the, the key point in that is then shall they be known who are my chosen. 
you know, and these things are, are, are starting to be seen. If you can see, man, you know, I know the, the, the Lord is blinding, uh, uh, you know, two third of our people, even these that know, even them that know uh, uh, they're Israelites, man. They're being blinded, man, you know, because the two third got to be sealed just like the elected one third, man. You know what I'm saying? So they're being blinded, man, because it's becoming very evident who the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these times are, you know. Apostle Tahar on down, man. You know, the apostles of uh, of the great millstone, GMS, man. Those are the true set up leaders if you can receive it, man. You know, so I'm going to get one more real quick and then get out of here, man, because, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's not hard. The point is really, really, really made. You know, let me get Sirach real quick. Sirach, uh 39 and verse 29. And it reads the Sirach, uh, Ecclesiastes, Sirach 39 and 29, fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. These things are the vengeance of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, second Ezra, the ninth chapter uh, 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 goes into we're in the times of the visitation of the Lord. He's visiting the, the world in which he made, man. And when you read up, it actually goes into those spirits created uh, uh, for vengeance. Matter of fact, I'll read it. This is uh, verse 28. There be spirits. That are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their, their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So spirits, man, you know, weather, hurricanes, uh, uh, tsunamis, uh, 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 you know, uh, hailstorms, you know, fires, you know, the, these wildfires and stuff that's in the earth and all these different things that are happening are spirits of the Lord, man. That it can come in the form of a, of a beast, you know, an, an animal when animals attack, you know, animals will, uh, will attack, you know, and then you got the, the, the uh, which is an, uh, the animal, the human animal, man, you know, beast, you know, will attack, man, you know, so he'll put it in uh, the spirit on, on, on the next person, you know, that's why the scriptures say, uh, say in, in uh, I can, I trying to recall if it's first Peter or second Peter. Uh, uh, 2 and 12, I believe, is, if, if, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, these are, as, as Bruce, brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. Yeah, he's talking about two third of Jake, man. He, he refers to you as a beast, man. E everything outside of the of the uh, temple, outside of the, the, the law, statutes and commandments, this knowledge of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is a beast, man. You know, you're outside the temple, man. So you're a beast. If you don't got the law, statutes and commandments. You're a beast. You're an animal, man. You know, in the beginning until uh, when he created everything and, 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 and made a man, Adam, until uh, uh, Adam was given this knowledge, the, the, the law, statutes, and commandments, this knowledge, this understanding. He was just like everything else, man. But that set him apart, man, and, and put him, bought him into that kingship, man. You know, made him uh, to be able to rule and reign over everything, man. You know, so that's what this knowledge is all about. That's why the scriptures say the, the kingdom is within you, man. It's, it's the knowledge, man. You know, so so those spirits, man, can come in many different forms, though. You know what I'm saying? Getting back to the, the actual point, which they can be, as it says in verse 29, fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance, which they are the vengeance of the Lord, man. So these these super uh, uh, mega drought, uh, uh, this mega drought. That's uh, sweeping through across uh, uh, the U.S., man, that's threatening, you know, for crops to fail in 2021. It's, it's part of those prophecies that's that's written, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is the Lord, man. He's visiting this this earth, man. Esau's kingdom is over, man, and he's bringing this place down in, 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 in a beautiful fashion, man. You know, it, you know, it's hey, man, this is a beautiful story, man. And, and we're watching these things happen, man. So, it, hey, it's it's it's. That's what's up. So, you know, but I just wanted to, to make a, a quick point on that, man. I saw this video and, 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 you know, wanted to do a quick lesson. So, so, you know, that's all I got. So with that, hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect, giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kavkadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shal Dawadah, Shalom.